What's going on my fellow jewelers? So today we're doing easy, chic, easy, and more chic. Oh my goodness. We're doing one of the easiest UV resin jewelry pieces you will ever do in your whole life. You add a bit of resin, you add a bit of foil, you put it in a bezel, and you got yourself mwah, the most beautiful jewelry earrings you'll ever see. Well, I think so in my in my biased opinion. Look at these suckers. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put a bigger picture up right here. Look at this. Look at these. I mean, these are gorgeous. Everywhere I go when I wear these, people are like, where'd you get those? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I made them. I made them. They are so cute. They are so easy. You are going to love making these suckers. Now, suckers. <laughs> now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click that bell, get notifications, because I'm all about the how to the jewelry making. I do tutorials when it comes to resin jewelry. I do epoxy. I do UV. I also do tutorials when it comes to beaded jewelry. I got your back on both. So you and me, let's get this party started. Okay, so just so you know, everything I'm using today, I'm going to put in the description below. Check out my links, check out some other stuff, just so you have the information you need. Also, I don't wear a mask when it comes to videoing, but anytime I use resin outside of making videos, I always mask up, and I always have my gloves, and I'm wearing an apron so I don't ruin my clothes. You're dealing with chemicals, so make sure you're protecting yourself. Okay, let's dive right in right now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to um, put tape on our pieces, on our bezels. And so I'm gonna actually put both of them on the tape. I'm gonna go like this. Yes, go like this. And now I'm going to put them on where I want them. Make sure that that the back is all the way on tape. Don't like have it like half off tape or partly on tape. So I'm putting on the tape. And then I'm going to fold this over here and even, I think I might fold this over here as well. I could have done a lot less tape. I don't know why I wasn't thinking very well. I, I like saving on tape, but whatever. Um, and so now you're going to put your finger around so that it sticks to the tape because this is liquid that you're dealing with and you want to make sure that it doesn't go underneath um, and, and seep out. It's so bad when it seeps out. It is not fun at all. Okay, so now that we've done that, we are going to put our foil. I'm gonna do uh, both silver and gold. Now, um, you don't want it, you don't want it so concentrated that you can't tell that there's clear resin. I mean, like I like that look where you can um, not have as much, right? So don't do a ton. It doesn't take a lot to fill these things. Um, and so I'm gonna put. I'm breaking up my foil. I like to break it up a bit, put it in chunks. Break it up some more, break it up, and then I'm gonna put, oh, I don't wanna get silver in my gold. <laughs> it sticks to you, it wants to stick to you. Um, and then I'm gonna put some gold in here. And you don't make sure that it's just one layer of it, cause they have it like like stuck together, like they have it all stuck together like this. Um, just make sure that um, it is only one, because it clumps up really bad when you have the resin in there. So now we're gonna add our UV resin in there. Oh, I love this part, I love it. So now I am going to take in, I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna add a good amount because I'm gonna put, I'm making earrings, so I'm doing twice the amount. And now we're gonna stir with our stir stick. We're gonna be gentle, we're gonna be gentle to not create so many bubbles. This one is not so bad with bubbles. I wanna make sure that I'm getting the foil broken up. And then I'm even, and making sure that the foil gets covered in the resin. I want all the foil covered in the resin. I'm even gonna add more of my resin in there because I want, I want you to be able to tell that it's clear and that there's, I want space in between my foil. Oh yes. So now we're gonna put that resin and foil mix in. Be careful not to have it overfill. Just, just take your time, take your time. Don't go fast, don't be all crazy. Just take your time putting it in because um, with your patience, it's gonna look better, all right? Okay. As much oh there's a little chunk if there's like a glot like a it almost turns into like a foil ball make sure you break it up so now there are bubbles around it and i'm gonna put some fire to it you can put heat to it you can put fire to it some people don't like fire some people like the heat i prefer the fire okay so i'm gonna put this on there to get rid of the bubbles yeah that's good that's good that's good okay 
So now we're gonna put it under the lamp for about 60 to 120 seconds, so one to two minutes, and then we're gonna flip it over. You need to flip it over because the resin needs to dry on the other side. A lot of times, if you don't flip it over after you dried it on top, then it'll still be sticky on the bottom when you take it away from the tape. So make sure you do the front and the back. Here we go, let's go. I, I want to dome it now. I want to dome it um, so that if there's any foil sticking out that it goes under the resin. And so be careful when you're doming that you don't have it spill over. Now, when I'm talking about doming it, it's like it's like the resin kind of makes a, a, a slight little dome, right? And you want that, you want that effect. You want to cover your foil completely, but it also looks nice. And so we're going to dome it and then make sure that we go around the edge that the resin is all the way around the edge because it looks awful if it's not. And then we'll dry it one more time. Gonna hit it with the heat. This is so pretty. I'm so stinking excited. I am like beyond excited. Okay, we're gonna just put it on for the light one more time and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now last, one of the last steps is we need to take it off the tape. All right, so when you take off the tape, you may have some of the sticky residue on the back end of it. You, One of the best things you can do is probably just rub it off with your finger, rub it off. But if not, get some rubbing alcohol, rub that on and it can take it off. But you don't want the stickiness left on from the tape. Okay, our final step is we're just gonna add on our hooks. It's so easy, oh my goodness. I'm gonna take my round nose pliers, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna do, this is the front, so I want, um, I want my hook facing towards the back right. So this is the front. Make sure that um, it's facing the right way. And then you can put it on there and close up your, the, you close up the hoop. Yep, just like that. Isn't that so cute? I love it. And then you're just gonna do that on the other side. Oh, I love these. These are, oh my goodness. These make me so very happy. I love the two metal colors into one jewelry piece. I love it when you have like silver and gold or bronze. And so I love putting two color metals together. It makes me so very happy. Now, I know I'm happy, but I wanna hear from you. Comment, share, like. I wanna hear your thoughts. Do you like them? Do you not? Now, little tip for you. You don't have to get the same size as me. If you wanna go smaller, there's smaller bezels out there. If you wanna go bigger, there's bigger bezels out there. You choose the size, but man, do this technique. Do it, it's so stinking cute. I love it. Now, it is the end of the video, and you know what that means? That means I love praying for you guys. I love, love, love praying for you. I don't know if you know this, but I'm living in the States, I live in America, but only half my views are from America. My other big views are from India. In India, God has been putting you on my heart all week long. I had a vision years ago of being called to minister to India. I never went there physically, but the Lord showed me this is one of the ways I can minister to India. So if you're from India, this prayer is for you. God is calling you. I know India is not um, a dominantly Christian country, but God loves you and he's calling you. And some of you have been listening to my videos and listening to my prayer at the end, and God has been really tugging your heart. You know that fire you have in your heart, that, that, that feeling you have in your heart? That's the Lord. That's Jesus tugging at your heart. And you're like, Jesus, oh, I know you've been talking about him, but I don't know about him. He loves you so very much. And he wants you to ask, um, to ask him to be in your heart, to be your Lord and Savior. He's India, India, he's calling you. And he's calling you to be fishers of men. He's calling you. I know you have a lot of fishermen. You have a lot, you have a whole coast right there. And God is calling you to not only accept him in your heart, heart, but to be fishers of men. And so I want to pray for you, India. India, I love you. God loves you. I'm going to pray for your country. I'm going to pray for those that are feeling a call to ask Jesus into their heart. He is tugging at your heart. He's calling you, India. And so Lord, I thank you for the country of India. God, I thank you that you um, have given a great description that when we give our heart to Jesus, you want us to be fishers of men. You want us to go after men and women and share the gospel. You want to share about us you want us to share about Jesus. I pray for India. I pray for those in India right now that you are tugging their hearts, that they would fully commit their hearts and their lives to you. And repeat after me if, you, if this is you. Lord, I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I ask you to forgive my sins. And I ask Jesus, you come into my heart and I surrender my life to you. In Jesus' name, amen. And, sorry, adding to the prayer, 
I ask that you help me to be a fisher of men. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Oh my gosh. India, I love you. God loves you. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in. And guess what? I'm going to catch you in the next video. Bye!